already oily so today I'm going to detoxify my skin and I'm going to do that by using a clay mask oily skin is both a blessing and a curse okay um, your skin has a lot of natural elasticity it's very moisturized I think maybe you look youthful longer when you have more oil production in your skin but okay nobody wants to go outside in no 75 85 degree heat with all their makeup sliding off because of oil production. So, I'm using this clay mask to try to regulate. That's why all I buy is matte foundations because my skin cannot take anything that has a little hint of oil in it. It will look like somebody splashed my face with some vinaigrette. I'm hungry. This clay is a pink clay and it's, um, all the ingredients are from Australia and it's got kaolin and bentonite in it, aloe vera juice, and it's got something called old man's weed. So it says it detoxifies and brightens your skin for a summer glow in 10 minutes. So we're gonna do that today, All right? So it's got four steps. They're really simple. Smooth it on your face. Relax while it dries. It's detoxing your skin and then cleanse it off. And then boom, glow. It helps with skin rejuvenation and it's supposed to tighten your pores. I don't really have that bad of a problem yet with my pores. I mean, I can see them. Everybody got them, okay? They're on my cheeks and they're on my nose. And I think that's natural. Oh yeah, forget like, y'all, I was doing my hair, so. So they included this cute little brush so you don't have to dip your fingers in it because I, like me, I have long nails and I have to try to keep my nails very, very clean because I have a five month old and I have to make sure that I scrub underneath my nails all the time. But if you're dipping in the container and you have bacterial and oils on your fingers, it's not good to be doing that. Stop it. So let's apply it all, oh, feels so good, there's something so satisfying about smearing crap on your face. I don't know what it is, but I don't know what. So the directions are to smooth on freshly washed skin, and that's what I did. My skin is freshly washed, so let's have some fun. And I figure while it dries, I'll take my clips out. I'm going to be a beautiful butterfly. So we have smoothened it. So we have smoothed it. We have relaxed it and detoxed it. So now it's time to cleanse it. So I'm going to do that right now. So let's reveal the glow. So this is my skin immediately after the mask and it feels really good. Where did my pores go? Gone. So I don't have any makeup on. I got clay in my eyebrows, but I got natural highlights. Yeah, my skin definitely needed that. And now that my face has dried and is detoxified, I think that this would be the perfect base for a foundation, like I feel like it would just go on so smoothly. Although I don't think I need some foundation today. This clay in my eyebrow. So it said it would give you a summer glow, and I think so. I think my skin is very luminous right now. So I definitely feel like one of those girls in those commercials. <laughs> All right, so um, on the instructions, it did say that if you have um, dry skin, use one to two times a week, and if you have oily skin, two to three times a week, so I'm gonna keep this in heavy rotation, especially if I keep getting results like this. Uh, now, I don't wanna make wild claims here, but it might have even shrunk my forehead. 
If you guys want to learn how you can get your own Santa Sky pink clay mask, check out my description box below. If you guys have any comments or any questions, let me know. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.